action cameras. They're typically great for adrenaline junkies. Are you ready to go on the Incredicoaster? Not at all. You love that ride. I hate that ride. Oh. But since I'm not one, I'm going to be testing this as your average, everyday, ordinary, normal Disneyland theme park goer. This is the DJI Osmo Action 4. DJI has asked us to test out their latest action camera, so we're taking the budget and we're going on a bunch of rides at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. That'll work. Oh, it's a little too early for us right now. I think we need a wake-up ride. How about that one? Maybe some other ride. Roller coasters, they're thrilling, but most important of all, they make great POV videos. And unlike firework video shot on a smartphone, this actually has some rewatchability. Oh. I really like the quick, but also smooth and gradual exposure change every time we enter and exit out of a dark tunnel. It's fast, it's reactive, and dare I say, incredible? Showtime. And we're also filming in 4K 120 frames per second, so we can slow this footage down later to see what I've missed while I was screaming internally for my dear life. Now, nobody told me that making POV roller coaster videos ain't easy. You need 10% luck, 20% skill, and 15% concentrated power of will. You have to keep your head straight the whole time. Any sudden movements will make the video incredibly disorienting. And if you do want to make a turn looking at something, you have to channel your inner robot and turn smoothly. So this is a great opportunity for us to do some random point and shoots, walking shots, and random audio bites. In case you didn't know, DJI is notorious for their flying cameras, and the Osmo Action 4 has a similar sensor size as some of their popular small drones. But since we can't actually fly a drone over Disneyland, we're gonna have to get clever. We're gonna have to be our own human drone. Well, uh, that didn't turn out as I had expected, but nonetheless, it's still a pretty unique shot. Now, if you know us, then you know we are no strangers to doing camera tests at Disneyland. But one thing we hardly ever include in our usual videos is the rides. They're hard to capture with big cameras like this, and not to mention trying to keep this steady with your bare hands. It's not like the theme parks are going to let you bring in a full-blown camera stabilizer. And that's why an action camera like this comes in handy. What I love about them is that they're small, they're versatile, and they're easily mountable. You're able to partake in activities while keeping your hands free through their various body accessories. They've got a head mount, they got a chest mount, wrist mount, stake mount, and even a mouth mount. That's weird, stop, please stop. Pop it into the included cage and boom, you easily convert it into a vertical camera. Now, in-camera stabilization is key for action cameras. The Osmo Action 4 has what they call rock steady. Not to be confused with the legendary British video game studios that is responsible for the greatest Batman game series of all time. But how steady it can keep the framing. Even just walking with it feels smooth. All these shots here, handheld baby, no gimbal stabilizer. But if you need more stabilization, there is also rock steady plus. Of course, it will further crop into your frame in order to enhance the stabilization, but there are three few to view that you can choose from. Standard, wide, and ultra wide. So if you know you're gonna be going through some rough patches in your life, well, you got the ultra wide and rock steady plus to retain a lot of your outlook and keep things nice and smooth. <laughs> 
But what if you're not always up and running? What if you just want to sit down and relax to a theatrical show? What if we can find out? Oh, all right, getting that midday afternoon hop. I think we should give the camera a rest. Do you want to watch a musical? What musical? That musical. Rogers the musical. All right, true. Let's go. I still can't believe they actually took a small joke from the Hawkeye TV series and actually made a full-blown Captain America musical. Now, ain't no West End or Broadway, but hey, it's pretty good for a 30-minute show. While there isn't a telescopic zoom on the Osmo action form, it acts as a nice master wide angle shot. Something you can cut to while your other camera that can zoom focuses in on the action. And the audio capture off of this little guy, it ain't too shabby. I could do this all. I can do this all. That's the song. Now that we are recharged, time to tackle some rides again. We're here at Thunder Mountain right now. Do you think we should try Horizon Balance? Do you think we should try Horizon Steady? What's that? Horizon Steady and Horizon Balance are additional stabilization features. The first roller coaster ride we did, we only have it on Rock Steady, so you can really see and feel the turns. But the Horizon features keep the point of view leveled. Horizon Steady will keep that view straight with turns up to 45 degrees, whereas Horizon Balance keeps that view locked. Horizon Balance is on. Here we go. Now, Horizon Balance is only available in 2.7K resolution or lower, but Horizon Steady is available in 4K60. So let's see what that looks like. Hey, honestly, I kind of like it. Woo, it is getting hot. Southern California bringing in that heat. Oh my God, I actually got a sunburn. Now, when it comes to small cameras like these, there are potentials for overheating. 4K 120, you're gonna have a very small limited window depending on the temperature. But 4K 60, we have a bit of a longevity. It's what I would recommend for a balance of high quality, high frame rate, and long shoot time. The best practice is to power off the camera when you're not actively using it and power it back on when you're ready to row. DJI promises up to 160 minutes of battery life and it does seem like it conserves battery pretty well. And the USB-C here supports quick charging. Of course, these are tiny batteries. We got to keep an eye out on them, but we have the battery case here along with the battery bank to keep it charging as we take a break and eat lunch. Time to get this camera wet. Disneyland doesn't have their own water theme park, so the closest thing we actually have is this Grizzly Rapids. Now, unfortunately for us, we did not bring a spare change of clothes. Where did you get that? Oh, you don't have one? No, did you get me one? You can use it after. Don't worry, you'll be fine. We're going on at the same time. Well, good luck. Oh my god. I can't believe you got the pack knife upon you, but not me. The gear is important. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. It's a spinning ride. So I'm just, I'm just going to save you the trouble and say the camera is waterproof up to 18 meters. And the camera came out with no issue. Not us though. Splash, splash. But the most important question is, how does it perform in the light? Well, we're gonna find out inside Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. This is my all time favorite ride. Probably one of, if not the most immersive rides here. Half the fun is pretty much just walking around getting captured. And the other half is to watch the stormtroopers miss. 
So for this ride, I want to make sure that we're getting the best footage possible. So we're going to be dialing in our own settings. But later, we'll also try out the auto night mode to see how that handles the nighttime fun. Now, they told me the sensor in this is a wee bit bigger, so there should be some improvements for these low light rides. <sighs> low light is always going to be tricky, but knowing your settings will set you apart. For this, our settings are 4K 24 frames per second, shutter at 1 over 120, so the Rocksteady has enough frames to work with to stabilize our footage, and we're going to let the auto ISO run from 100 to 6400. While the ride is dark, the footage looks naturally dark, and the motion is incredibly smooth. Nothing is more satisfying than capturing an intergalactic space battle at proper exposure. What I tell you guys, that's right. that was thrilling. That's the best ride. That was good. Has Just, story, has character, has has, has everything. Thrills. Has everything. It has it has, AC. Has a beginning, middle, and end. Yep. And it has a rising action, falling action, climax. It has everything. <laughs> Time for us to hop on that Ferris wheel for a fake drone shot. I wasn't quite satisfied with the fake drone shot that we got at the start of the day. The boys have come up with an idea. But my friend Lewis said the Ferris wheel might be better. I guarantee it. It's sunset time right now, and we're gonna get some of the best lighting and colors of the park. Now, most of the clips that you've been seeing have been shot entirely in the default settings. So if you think the sharpness is too high or the color is too punchy, you can always dial it back down. However, if you have experience in color grading, the Osmo Action 4 has 10-bit D-Log M color profile where you can draw out a lot of your dynamic range in your footage. And that's what most serious filmmakers would prefer. And I too myself, this looks pretty good. However, if you just want to keep things simple, the default colors are fine, and you can still get amazing results. All right, I think we got enough energy for one more ride. I don't know, I'm tired. What about Radiator Springs? Now the trick to Radiator Springs is to always do single riders. I just won't get to ride with you though. Yes, you'll get separated from your group, but sometimes, just sometimes, you'll get lucky and end up together. I like that I can use the front to see myself. See, look, I can see myself. Hello. It's you see my pimple on my nose. Auto night mode is okay. If you don't want to fuss with the settings, it looks fine. But as we've shown you earlier in the Star Wars ride, if you take some time and learn your settings, you'll pull off smoother results. How much is this going to run you? 399 US dollars. And depending on which kit you get, pricing may vary. But 399 is typical for an action camera of this caliber. 4K 120p, incredibly rock steady stabilization, decent built in mic, functional front and back touchscreen, and even fast charging. Damn. If you've been meaning to upgrade or pick one up for your next travel, then this is the one to consider. Well, it's been a lot of fun. We got a lot of amazing POV footage of the ride today with the Osmo Action 4, stuff that we normally wouldn't be able to get for a Disneyland episode. Hope you guys enjoy watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you guys enjoy this video and want to see more from me, check out my travel series known as Travel Gone Vong. These are epic travel photography vlogs around the world, and trust me, these are going to be the best photography vlogs you'll ever watch this year.